Hello, my name is Johannes Kistas. I'm working in the product marketing of Lemken. I'm normally I'm responsible for the seed roots and precision planter and today I want to explain the Arzurit precision plant in combination with our fertilizer hopper spray hub for liquid fertilizer and as well as the Solitaire 23 Plus for granulated fertilizer. So uh, at first I want to show you how the spray hub is working and uh, how we transport the fertilizer to the Arzurit. Here in the front we have our new hopper the spray hub for liquid fertilizer. We have it with the capacity of 1,100 liters and also 1,500 liters. So here we can have, uh, here we can transport liquid fertilizer, of course, or, or herbicides if you want to uh, combine the spray hub in combination with an harrow and a spray kit. But in our situation, we have uh, the spray hub with liquid fertilizer. We have a uh, fully isobus controlled machine with our uh, software IQ Blue spray. That means that we have a second uh, mach machine in the UT of the tractor that we can handle the spray up with, uh, also with other uh, competitor machines to have a very uh, reliable and efficient combination. So I mentioned we have uh, two hopper capacities and as well we have uh, fresh water for cleaning of the hopper and we have some water for cleaning the hands or some tools. For example, the transportation of the fertilizer, the liquid fertilizer is with this hose next to the tractor cabin and then we have the, the splitting to each row of the precision planter of our Azurit. This is how we handle the liquid fertilizer with, this, with an hydraulic driven pump. We pump uh, the fertilizer to the Azurit. If you want to use the Azurit with a, with a granulated fertilizer, then you should think about our Solitaire 23 plus a front hopper. This machine is uh, specially for granulated fertilizer in combination with an Azurit or in combination with a seeding bar. Then you can have seeds in it. And we have uh, two ways of transporting the, the gr granulated fertilizer to the Azurit. There's one way underneath the tractor and the other way is next to the tractor cabin. This depends on uh, what you like and what, is, uh, what are the conditions in your, on your farm. The very important to know about the Solitaire 23 Plus is that we can handle uh, up to four sections. That means we can have uh, section control for two rows with one dosing unit. So we have uh, four sections on the Arzurit. Now I want to show you how the Arzurit is working and how we are handling all the stuff with uh, precision planting. I want to show you how the Arzurit is working, just for your overview. This is our seeding part and the, the pre-running tools for the seed placement. At first, of, no, of course, we have our fertilizer bar. Then we have our roller bar. There are two trapezi packer rollers for optimum uh, reconsolidation in the area where the seed is uh, placed afterwards. Of course, then we have uh, a double disc calter or we have two double disc calters for our data row. More about this later. Then we have uh, our a roller to catch up the, the seeds in the furrow. And we have uh, two types of yeah, pressure wheels to, uh, to get the best reconsolidation to our seeds in the, in the soil. But now, how, is it, how are we handling all the stuff? When we start with the fertilizer, I've mentioned with uh, with the Solitaire 23 or the Spray Hub, we can handle up to four sections. This Arzurit is equipped for granulated fertilizer. So we have this hose and here you can see a distributor. One hose is connected to two fertilizer discs. That means we, if we switch off the dosing unit of the Solitaire 23, we are switching, we switch off these two fertilizer bars. If you have a combination with a spray hub, it's the same fertilizer bar and the same disc. Only another coupler here on top to connect the liquid fertilizer to it. Then I've mentioned the, the pre-running uh, trapeze packer roller for optimum uh, reconsolidation in the area of the seed placement. Now I want to explain you how the most important thing of our Azurit seed singulation and of course the transportation of uh, seeds in the machine. Here, the most, one of the most important uh, points for our Zurit is that we have uh, one hopper for the whole machine. 
This hopper has a capacity of 600 liters and each hose and each dosing unit is connected to one simulation unit. That means if we are using a section control or a half, half width uh, shut off, then uh, it could happen that the one side of the machine is uh, empty earlier than the other side. And in, in this case, there's a sensor in the simulation unit that uh, sends a signal to the hopper and this dosing unit is uh, starting to dose seeds and uh, only this unit is filled up. So this is very important to know and we can handle this for each row in a single way. So we have a, a central seed hopper and uh, we have these small seeding units on top of the mechanical part. In my opinion, the most important argument for our Azurit is a simulation unit. Because we have uh, not a simulation disc, we have our delta row system with a simulation drum. And with this drum, we can handle it that we can have the seat placement in a triangular way. That means we have two rows on every uh, seat calter. And in, in between these two rows, we have a distance of 12 and a half centimeter. We have two seats on this half side of the, of the simulation unit. And then we have another seat on this in between yeah, for optimum uh, place and optimum uh, conditions for growing for the plants. And the delta row is the most important thing because it, uh, this means that we have um, more nutrients, more light and more water for our plants even in, at the beginning of the growing season. And this leads to a, a very important point. Uh, we, have a lot, we did a lot of uh, tests and trials with different universities all over Europe like uh, it Italy, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany. And uh, all in all we have the result that we have up to 8% more energy yield in uh, our silage for example. And that's very important if you have a biogas plant or if you are feeding cows with this silage because you don't need as much area to produce the same amount of energy for the cows, for example. How do we handle this delta row system? And uh, I prepared this uh, simulation unit for you. We have this uh, simulation drums. That means we have on both sides, we have these holes in it. And if you have a more intensive uh, look on it, you can see that we have two holes on one side and in between on the other side, we have uh, the other hole. And this is a way how we can handle this uh, triangular system in the delta row seeding way. So we have a uh, pressure system for this uh, seeder. That means uh, the transportation of uh, seeds is with pressure. And this uh, is also the way how we transport the, the seed from the simulation unit to the, to the seed furrow. And uh, so we shut the, the seeds in this uh, in this double disc coulter and then we have this uh, roller and this roller catches the, the seed up and saves and makes sure that we don't have any rolling of uh, seeds in the furrow for an, a very exact uh, seed placement. And so we can make sure that we have the 100% uh, triangular uh, way. If you have a look on this uh, roller in between the two seed discs, that is, this is our depth control wheel. And with this depth control wheel, or we can set this depth control wheel with this uh, screw here, very comfortable for each row in a different way, if you want. And uh, this is easy and without tools. Then we have uh, our, our uh, unit to uh, bring the earth and the soil over the seeds and uh, to give a little bit of pressure on the seeds that we have a good soil to seed contact after seeding. So this is the way how we handle the seat placement and what is the mechanical stuff. And then uh, I want to show you that we have a second hopper on this machine. This is an op the optional uh, micro hub, uh, yeah, hopper for micro granulates. And these micro granulates we can bring to each part row of the delta row. That means we have eight hoses and they are going to uh, every a simulation unit then we have this Y piece and every and then we have two hoses going exactly to the same point where we have our seed placement 
And with this micro up, we can uh, bring very specialized fertilizer. Don't need a lot of uh, amount for the same effect. So we can bring this with an, with this micro hub exactly to the to the seed. This is a little bit different to the uh, system we have with our fertilizer bar because this fertilizer bar is exactly between the two seeding units, seeding rows, so that we can make sure that we have a distance a little bit more than five centimeters to the seeds and five centimeters deeper so that we don't get any damages to the seeds with the fertilizer. I mentioned before we have two types of uh, closing wheels here. We have this one and for heavier soils we have the solution with, uh, with this concave disc. These concave disc bring soil on top of the seeds and then we have this uh, wheels really straight on every seed row and these are giving a pressure to the seeds and to the soil to, get, to make sure that we have a very good seed to soil contact. This is everything you should know about the Arturit position planter. If you have any questions about the Arturit, about the spray hub and the Solitaire 23, please contact us about our cha well-known channels and uh, I hope you enjoyed the explanation and uh, Thank you.